Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Stormworks, and in this one, we are finally going to be going over the VTOL AWACS tanker, whatever you want to call it, and uh, this is it. So it's on the workshop now, if you guys are watching this video. Um, it will be attached to the workshop page also, so this is kind of like a workshop walkthrough if you guys are curious. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to kind of walk around the plane. We're going to play with it in uh, the second half of the video, but for now, I'm just going to kind of show you guys around it, kind of talk about some of the features and all that kind of good stuff. So um, if you guys like this build, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button we got plenty more builds to come but uh, enough of that we're just kind of rambling right now so i'm going to lower this ramp the ramp access is back here towards the uh rear end of the aircraft there's one on each side and it's also got that fancy little loading mode key so that just lowers the rear landing gear so hopefully it's a little easier for you to load things into the cargo space but uh yeah this is the finished plane so i'm just gonna kind of walk around show you guys some of the things and you guys can see we have um diesel and jet ports right there now this is our main ramp controller you also have the uh controls for the loading mode over there too and i have these side doors open with our guns so our guns fold up and down they're mousing they uh they have a pretty nice range on them um, you can go all the way left and all the way right so negative one to one and as you guys can see it will not hit the sonar there or our missile so it should be good to go you guys should be able to kind of put really most missiles or weapons on the the hard points that you can think of and they should work so the guns are good. The guns shouldn't affect anything. Um, we do have, you know, our loading mode over here. So if you do happen to want to put a cargo container in here, this is how you would do that. Just go ahead and turn that key. These pull out. Now there's not any more controls than that. So you might have to kind of mess around with the container itself to make sure it connects to those. But once you get it connected, you just turn that key off and it will come all the way back and it should lock itself into place too. So there is a um, enough connectors on the floor in the cargo space back here for two cargo containers side by side, one left, one right. And then there's also another option to put one centrally located in the cargo bay if you're only carrying one. So that's kind of how that works. It's not too complicated. Um, of course, it's Stormwork, so it might give you a little bit of trouble, of course. You know, it's just kind of how it goes when you're playing this game. But uh, yeah, finally, we're up into the cockpit. I'm going to show you guys how to turn this thing on. So just flip this aircraft power key. Got a nice loading sequence, then you just pull the throttle up. Um, the loading sequence, after that happens, you can pick any of the MFD screens and you should be good to fly. So um, not too complicated. The uh, arrow buttons right here, that is for our altitude hold. And I have a couple other buttons here. So right down there is all for our autopilot, all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, the altitude hold, pretty simple to use. Just uh, press the up arrow until you hit the desired altitude you want to go. Now, the green numbers, that is in feet, not meters. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, and then you just flick the flip switch right next to it to turn altitude hold on. So it'll work in both modes. It'll work in the hover mode and the flight mode. Autopilot will not. So I just want to make sure that you guys kind of understand that. Autopilot will only work in flight mode. So you, you change flight modes by clicking one. When you're going forward, the autopilot will work. If not, it's not going to. I didn't want to wire it up for the helicopter or the vertical controls just because, um, well, you're in a plane. So if you need to go somewhere with autopilot, you should just be flying normally. But um, yeah, so that's kind of that. The screen should be pretty self-explanatory for the most part. Um, I'll go through them real quick. We just, you know, we have our classic MFD. So we've got one with kind of data like landing gear, fuel, speed, RPS, that kind of good stuff. We've got our, our artificial horizon on that other screen. And then we have a radar screen, which is what I'm controlling right here. So this is how you use all of the radio instruments. This guy's the Rio, radio instrument operator. And he's got a couple interesting things. So to use the radar, you just got to click the R on the screen. I wanted to just get that running. We're going to head over here towards the water, I guess. And uh, we'll go drop some sonar buoys. I'll kind of show you guys how all of that works. So just give me one second. We're going to cut right over to the ocean. All right, so I have a waypoint set. And this is probably a good time to show you the refueling capabilities. So um, pretty self-explanatory again over here. I'm trying to make a lot of this pretty simple. So you got both your drogues. One's on the left, one's on the right. You have a camera for each one. So this screen works just like the MFD. And you also saw me hover over that keypad. That keypad is really nice because if you want to broadcast physics sensor data from this plane to another plane, so it can rendezvous easier for aerial refueling. That's what that's used for. So just turn the keypad or put a, a number into the keypad for a radio channel. It will start broadcasting. Shouldn't be anything more than that. And hopefully whatever plane you're trying to communicate with will have all of our physics data and can link up with us a lot easier that way. 
So now that we're over here, um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, kind of just I'll show you guys a little bit about this screen. Um, you know, just zoom in, pretty self-explanatory. I did not make this screen. I wanna give credit to Zizo. Zizo did a great job. I love this screen and I keep modifying it more and more and more and I just, I really like this screen. So thank you Zizo, you're the man. There is a link to that in the workshop page. Um, but yeah, the S up there that turns into an A, that's for your sonars, sonars. So I dropped one of our sonars earlier and you guys can see that this uh, viewing scope is for the missiles. So we're just gonna fire one of these off. This is the one on the hard point. So our fuel gauge in the bottom left is not gonna work correctly. I'll probably try to update that. I don't know for sure, but uh, yeah. So that's kind of the gist of this. Now we're gonna take it over into a search and destroy world and we're gonna go get into some, into some trouble, see how many bad guys we can get maybe even drop a tank or some bombs or, or some fun stuff like that. But yeah, that's kind of the, the, the basics of it. I'm not gonna give you guys this long 20 minute video on how to use this thing. It's in my mind, it's pretty simple. So if you know how to use a lot of planes, you should know how to use this plane. But yeah, enough rambling. We'll switch over to that Nick into the next world and I will see you guys there. All right, well, we're in the other world now, and you guys can see we got quite the payload in this thing, and I also threw some more TV missiles on it. So we're going to have some fun. We're heading out into the ocean. There's a military base over here that is captured, and I'm just making sure all our settings are right. So um, the really the only big setting thing with this thing, this plane, guys, is uh, infinite electric, and that only matters if you're trying to fire the missiles. So the missiles won't work with infinite electric on, so just turn them off. Um, they'll automatically connect to whatever one's closest to you. So that's kind of why you need them off. But that is the only only major thing. Um, this thing should work on low, medium, high physics. Um, infinite fuel is fine, whatever. Vehicle damage on and off, that's fine, whatever. But, but yeah, enough of that. Um, I'm going to turn our sonars on and our radars. And we haven't dropped a sonar, as you guys can see. So um, doesn't I guess it doesn't technically need to be on yet. But... Give us a second. I'm trying to get a little bit further out into the ocean and then we'll drop a sonar. But while we're doing that, we might as well have fun with the missiles. So I'm just going to fire a couple of these off. I uh, saw some targets on the radar screen and there he is. He just rendered in. So we're going to try to blast a couple of ships on the way out there just because why not? We've got nine TV missiles on this thing and each one of those has a range of 18 kilometers. So we should be able to do a quite a bit of damage. Um, if we get to it, I'm going to try to drop some bombs on the island. I made a cluster bomb and then I also made a tank in a box. So we're going to try to get those on the island. If we don't get to it, it is what it is. You know, um, I don't have the tank in the box on the workshop yet. It's something I'm working on. So give me a couple weeks. I'm busy. I'm sorry, guys. I wish it was sooner, but yeah, give me a couple days, maybe a week or so. I'll get that on the workshop. And the, the nice thing about the tank in the box is you do not need to use it with this aircraft. So you, you should be able to just use it with whatever you can fit a container on. Um, so that's super cool, but I did build it to fit in this thing. It's a normal standard size shipping container, so it's not a big deal, but um, I'm kind of ranting again here. So let's turn that on. You click the sonar twice until it it turns to an A and then it will start pinging. Um, so that is the active sonar mode. The other is the passive. I personally like the active. I think it's better. I like the pings. They sound cool. They do more. Um, and that little guy is never to be seen again. So safe to say we're doing a some damage. You know, I, I wish we sank more ships than we have, but we're still a good, you know, probably five, 10 kilometers out. So we're just going to keep firing off these missiles until we get close to the island. And they're pretty easy to steer guys. They're just WASD. The roll is automatic, so it'll kind of keep itself level. Um, so really not too hard, pretty simple. Just click space, they'll fire or flick the hard point on like I just did. And we are going to go after this dude because he keeps shooting at me. So he can definitely get some. And that wasn't enough, so good thing I have more. So let's try to fire one more off at him and see if we can blow that guy up. Um, I know we're passing by, but now I'm just kind of angry he shot at me. So we're going to we're gonna take care of him, make sure he doesn't hurt us on the way home if we make it. And uh, that should be good. And wow, it's not. He's still, still floating. Okay, well, we are well past him, so I guess we'll just move on. I'm going to fire one of these towards the island and kind of scout the island a little bit. So I mentioned these things have a hundred or a 18 kilometer range. So the, uh, the fuel on these lasts quite a long time. So you guys can kind of scout with them and don't drive them like I did, like an idiot. Um, but nice to know that they don't just explode as soon as they touch the water. So you do get a, a second chance of life, but 
yeah, we're just going to scout around. I don't see any APCs on the island, so I think we should be good. Um, now, I my, my plan is to, you know, bomb the runway, but um, I just want to make sure that we're not going to get blasted by anti-air or tanks or, or something like that while we're trying to do do that. So, well, we got a few more missiles left, so I might as well use them. We're going to just fire both of these at the same time. Now, they do work on the same channel, so you can fire as many of these as you want, and you'll see, there you go. So the camera switches, actually, and what's nice about that is it'll switch to the closest one to you, which would be the uh, the furthest away from the target. So you're kind of the furthest viewing um, from the rest of the missiles, which means that generally if you launch more than one at a time, you will see the other one in front of you, which is kind of nice, but they're not super accurate. I did my best to hit this with both missiles, and you can see I definitely did not hit it with the second one. Um, so I'm going to see if I could get this out of the water. It's acting real funny. Hopefully we don't hit the ground. Like, yeah, okay, that's what I didn't want to happen, but that's all right. Um, I think that is all of our uh, all of our missiles, so I'm going to go ahead and drop our other sonar, and then we're going to try to line this thing up for a bombing run, and I'm going to go ahead and try to drop this cluster bomb on the runway, and then once we do that, if we're still in good shape, we will try to um, drop off the tank in a box but yeah here we go so i already i skipped ahead but yeah there's our cluster bomb very simple there is 26 medium warheads on that 26 or 28 something like, uh 28 it has to be i don't know i could be wrong sorry I'm, I'm being dumb um but yeah it's something like that and you can fit two of those in and <laughs> look at that explosion so and what is that we're getting a lot of damage uh oh are we getting shot at we're either getting shot at or this this tank in a box is deciding our fate for us. I don't know. Let me go get up into the cockpit and we'll check out, see what happened. Oh, yeah, I think we just got hit. What are we getting shot by? Wow, that's a lot of damage. Oh, maybe it is the container. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know if we got shot at or if the container decided to destroy us, but this plane is all of a sudden not doing great. And we are not going super fast anymore. So it looks like... Yeah, I, I think we can still fly. I don't know. For a second, I thought we lost power. I just switched to hover mode because it looks like those fans in the back might be damaged, but I just switched again. See if we can make it out of this. I don't think we're going to be able to, honestly, but we'll see. Unfortunately, I think that means we're definitely not going to get the tank in a box onto the military island. So that's probably, I mean, we have no weapons left, so I guess that's kind of the end of the episode. But yeah, I, I'm going to try to fly this out a little bit, just make sure that we're still capable of flying. But yeah, I guess that's all I got for this one today, guys. I <laughs> could have gone a little bit better, I guess. It could have gone a little bit worse, but that's all right. Um, this is more so for the workshop page and, and that kind of good stuff anyway. So if you guys have any questions about um, operating the AWACS or anything like that, definitely, you know, shoot one of me or one of the mod. Well, don't do, don't tag me in Discord. Um, that's against the rules. That would be bad. But yeah, definitely tag one of the mods and I'll try to get back to you or I'll try to have one of them get back to you. If you guys have any questions on this, let me know. Um, you can let me know down below in the YouTube comments or on the Steam page or wherever you want. But uh, if you made it to the end, thank you so much as always. I appreciate it. It really helps our channel out. And uh, yeah, one quick last thing before I go is I'm really excited for you guys to see the next build. So definitely stick around. Stay tuned for that. We're going to be switching back over to ships. And I know we're still working on our oil rig, but that thing's coming to the end too. So, uh, you know, definitely kind of keep your eyes out for that. We probably only got another couple weeks of videos for that. And then I'll get that also on the workshop. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. We're going to get rid of this stupid, silly container. And uh, I guess we will just kind of end it there. So again, thank you so much. You guys always kill it on the support. I uh, wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so um, can't thank you guys enough. But yeah, that's all I got. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.